Hello guys, I hope you all are doing good. I am Vishali Kikan and we are discussing the VLSI technology. Today in this session we are going to talk about the photolithography process in which I am talking about the step tracker integrated system. As a whole I will be talking about the various components of the step tracker integrated system and we will be seeing how the full process of photolithography happens inside the step tracker integrated system. So first of all uh, the step tracker integrated system is also called the photo cell. Okay? It is the most important part for the industry for the photolithography process because it is centrally controlled with the help of robots. The robots are controlling the movement of the wafer from the one component to the another component of the step tracker integrated system. So it is the integrated process system of photoresist coating, exposure and development. So three processes are happening in as an integrated process. Okay? Okay, so after one process, it, uh, the wafer will be moving with the help of a robot to the another process. Then after this another process, the wafer will be moving towards the next process and so on. So this is the integrated process. It is the centrally controlled with the help of robots. So we have the center track robot over here. And because of all of these, we have a higher throughput here and which improves the process yield. So I hope now you understood why it is important to understand the step tracker integrated system. So the first step that we do is to provide the wafer inside the step tracker integrated system. So this is my wafer. The wafer moves inside the step tracker integrated system at this hot plate. So these red plates are represented as the hot plates. This is my spin station. This is my developer dispenser and this is my stepper. Okay. So now after uh, this process we have the pre-bake and the primer coating. So at this hot plate we are doing the pre-bake process. The robot takes the wafer inside to this pre-bake process. This is a hot plate and after this hot plate we always have a chill plate. After every hot plate we have a chill plate. So it is not shown over here. I will be showing it in a separate diagram. So here we have the chill plate also the wafer has moved inside for the pre-bake as well as for the primer vapor coating uh, phase here. Now after this the track robot has moved the wafer to the spin station where the photoresist coating will be taking place. I hope now you remember how the photoresist coating will be taking place. If you have any doubt you can go back to the previous videos where I was discussing about the photolithography process. Again after this I have the photoresist on the surface of the wafer. So now after this I will be giving it for the soft baking process. Here I will be having the soft baking process. So after the soft baking process the track robot will be sending the wafer for the uh, stepper for the alignment and the exposure purposes. So now wafer is in the stepper, alignment and exposure process is happened and now we have the photoresist somewhere it is hard and somewhere it is softened out because of the alignment and the exposure process. Now it goes again to the post exposure hot plate. So track robot took the wafer from stepper and it gave the uh, wafer to the hot plate for the post exposure bake. So here the post exposure bake process will be happening after that the development phase. In the development phase I remove all of the softened out photolithography layer from the wafer surface. So now after the photo uh, photoresist has removed then I have the hard bake process. This is the full process that is happening inside the step tracker integrated system. So after this the track robot will be giving the output wafer with the photolithography process, full process has done. So this is the integrated system which is doing all of the process inside it. Okay. So now it is the schematic of the photo cell. Here we have the wafer. So this, uh, this sky blue color represents the ambient temperature. So here we have the preparation chamber where we have the pre-bake and after that we have the chill plate so that the wafer will be going to the spin coater at the ambient temperature here. We have the layer of photoresist uh, on the wafer with the help of the spin coater after that we are giving it to the soft bake process again chill plates stepper for alignment and exposure then this is the post exposure bake chill plate then developer hard bake chill plate then the outside wafer at the ambient temperature so now if i have the stack trapper system it will be giving me the smaller footprint and the lower cost of ownership 
which is called CO. Okay, so this is how the stack track system will be looking like. Here we have the preparation chambers, here we have the spin coaters. So we have two of preparation chambers, two spin coaters, two developers, two of hot plates, two of chill plates for each and every of the steps. Okay, so I hope now you understood in the preparation chamber we will be having the pre-exposure bake and then it will be moving to the spin coater, then it will be moving to the soft bake and then it will be moving towards the developer solution and then it will be moving towards the hard bake and before the developer solution we have the post exposure bake as well so these all processes are happening in the stack track system so now coming to the future trends in the future trends I want minimum and minimum feature size this feature size should be as small as possible I want higher and higher resolution so we are extending the Moore's law and this is the reason I want higher resolution and the minimum feature size I want uh, my wafer to be operating on the reduced wavelengths as well and I want phase shift mask as well. So these are the references if you want to discuss this topic in a great detail you can refer these books these are really amazing books. If you want uh, to understand any other topic you can put that in the comment as well. If you have any kind of query also you can put in the comment or you can reach out to me. I hope you like this session. If you like it please push the like button subscribe to the video and also share it with your friends. Thank you so much.